Hello and welcome to this morning magic topic I like so much and I want to convince you, inspire you, get you on board that you design your own morning magic and it doesn't have to be in the morning but some time in the day that you take time for yourself, for your thoughts, for your ideas and I didn't do that in the earlier days, you know, in the earlier days. When I was a student I lived with um, three other guys in a shared apartment and we had to get up for the first lesson. It started at 8.15 at the university. We had to get up at 7.30 and um, we were like shouting through the apartment, are you getting up? Are you getting up? Nope, 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 nope. So we nearly always, not always, missed the first lesson at least because we were tired of partying yesterday or whatever. Like 7.30 getting up then was just an impossible thought and very, very hard. And then my first job I had in a pharmaceutical company outside of Lucerne. So I had to get the train um, at 6.30. That meant that I had to get up at 5.45. And this 5 on my alarm clock was was so offending to me. I really was so angry at this five. Like who would get up at five something? It's just ridiculous. I was I was in denial that I had to get up so early for the whole, I, it was just a temporary job for the whole three month I went there. And the, the tram, the public transportation, the tram um, at Zurich main station has this position or this position so if it arrives it goes here and if this tram leaves it goes further in front until it opens the doors and i had like one minute to <laughs> go from there to a rather far away track where my train was um leaving the train station and i was like come on come on come on come on come on come on, come on in the tram and an older an elderly man was next to me like okay these young guys, these young folks has to have to stay in bed until the last moment. Yeah, always dressing around. He was just calling me out the whole time. This tram went from here to this other position where it finally opened its doors. And he just gave me it all. He, he really not yelled at me, but I was called out to go with the last possible tram and blame the tram that I will miss my train and he will never, probably he doesn't live anymore, but he would never have known that he had such a big impact on me. I really changed my habit of taking the last possible combination of public transportation after that. I really got up a little earlier to catch the earlier tram that I have more space and more a more um, just buffer time between this tram arriving and this tram leaving. And I think that's just so metaphorical for everything we do. If we have enough time to do things, if we are not so much stressed or just less stressed or not stressed at all. My husband Ken always says, I don't want to run. So I have to, if I plan something with with involves him I have to plan it the way that he doesn't have to run somewhere so I learned from him too to just have a little more time and that's what I want to inspire you to think of how do you create your morning routine you know like are your is your alarm ringing and then you snooze like 20 times and then you just have to jump out of bed jump into the shower and jump out of the door without a second to breathe slowly? Or are you taking it easy and have enough time and space to even read a book or eat proper breakfast? I'm so hungry in the morning, even when I was getting up at 5.45, that was one reason I had to get some breakfast. So there are non-negotiable parts of your morning and then there are pieces I'm sure that you are stressed out about and you could change them. That's the cool thing about all the all these uh, topics I mentioned or all these topics which are so important to me. You can change them 
from one minute to another, you can decide, okay, tomorrow I gift myself 30 minutes more and I will do this and that differently. And you can breathe, you can, you can just enjoy that you're alive. It's not, it's not guaranteed that you're alive in the next morning. You know, we can be appreciative and grateful for so many things and having a little more time to just be and think and eat and chew our breakfast and go out of the house without um, stressing and maybe you you forgot something you have to run all the way like just easy that's so simple but are you really creating your morning or are you a victim of your own stressful schedule you are you are creating for yourself that's just like the the easiest improvement ever but you can add to that when we were in japan in 2015 mika was still four years old and i really after five weeks of family time i'm not such a family family person i love my family so much but i love my me time also so much so i really craved some me time in this vacation and um, we were together 24 seven. And that's just like, oh, so <laughs> not hard, but like, ah, oh, I don't want to see you all the time, Ken and Mika. And then I said, I want to, I want a day at home in my pajamas. I love to do that even here. Like I need a pajama day a week or at least once per two weeks. So um, Ken was like, okay, you want to stay home in Japan? and stay in your pajama all day okay i'm out bye bye because he thought when she's so stupid and and doesn't use the time in our favorite country and his homeland then um, she can take care of the little girl when she's home anyway so i was at home in my pajamas but i had to take care of this little four-year-old monster forgive me mika you were a monster when you were four years old part-time eventually so the next day I really said, okay, I don't stay home, but you take care of this kid and I'm gone. I was going to the mountains of um, Kyoto with the bus, a long, long bus ride and just on my own. It was total bliss. And up there I was meditating at the, at the Japanese garden, temple garden with cute little stone um, figures in the in the moss it was absolutely beautiful i wanted to go there for years and i found them online finally like i have to go up there to see them and i was just in this temple garden meditating over how do i want to change my life that i'm not so stressed or not such an awful yelling partner and and um, mother and the simple thing was was you need i want more me time and then I started to get up really early. 4.44 is my favorite time to get up because it's like a little crazy early. But after I started to do that, after I did my yoga in the morning and journaling and EFT, I don't know if you know this tapping um, technique, I will tell you next week because I love it so much. Tapping, journaling, yoga and meditating. And I don't do that like every morning without exception but if i do it i realize how much it impacts me in a positive way so i know that it's good for me and that's why i do it i don't do it for like i didn't sign a contract i don't do it for anybody else than myself and when i started to do that when mika was still four years old she magically w woke up that early and came into the living room and that's where I think you can really, really have a big influence on your kids, if you have kids, to set boundaries. You know, I told her, this is my time. You can lay on this sofa. You, be, you better be quiet, like really quiet. You're not supposed to ask questions or do anything. You can go to your bed. You can go to daddy in, in our bed, but you don't better don't disturb me. And I think that's so healthy to have boundaries I mean, she wasn't um, crying. She had no problem at all. She was just curious what mama was doing here. So, and she, I was happy if she's in my living room with me, but not included in my personal morning magic. So if you have kids or not, you can 
some clients tell me, you know, like, yeah, that's not possible. My kids magically realize or recognize when I get up, so they get up too. So I don't have my me time. So even though they're, they, they, they wake up, you can include them in being with you, but like, this is my time. So I do these four things and then I'm most happy. If I have only a half an hour, I might skip EFT but that's my morning magic and 444 I realized afterwards it's not I didn't invent that at all there is a book miracle morning I can highly recommend that and there are several um, versions for entrepreneurs I don't know how many different versions he wrote about it if you write, uh, read only the the basic one that's fine too so morning magic miracle morning sorry or um, the 5 a.m. club. There are so many um, people stressing out that that morning time is absolutely magical for yourself. I just love to be alone and like I have a candle lit and lit up in my living room and it's like my cocoon and I can um, I'm more clear of what I want to do that day. I already did my workout. And it's just like, oh, I'm ready for the day. And it it didn't even start yet, you know. For me, it started where my family is asleep. Now Mika don't get up at 4.44. And um, I already did whatever I wanted to do daily. Because in the afternoon, I'm really not good at that. Like blocking out time for meditating or sport in the afternoon. That's not my thing. But maybe it's your thing. So just this daily um, habit of taking care of yourself, of taking care of your thoughts and um, journaling for clarity, for ideas and working out for your body. That's the magic of this whole thing. It doesn't have to be in the morning. For me, that's the only time like, which is just perfect for me, but you have to create your own system and, and maybe you try it out. Maybe you have a winding down, um, evening ceremony, maybe, yeah, whatever, whatever fits better for you, best for you, try it out and try it out for as long as, let's say, a month or two months, even better. And then you can, like, change things up or you can say, not for me, it's not working. I nearly, <laughs> I can bet, have a bet with you that you, you will see the difference, like, so clear that you can't you can you can ditch the whole morning ceremony or whatever ceremony you do but you will see clearly what it does to you like you just feel better and more alive and more focused and full of energy and that's just that's just so cool if you create that for yourself that's the goal and um having more energy having more clarity brings better connections and success in your private life, in your business life. And that's what we want, right? So you have it again. You, you are the captain of your ship and you decide how you want to do it and, and what you want to achieve. But the morning magic is just the trick to try if you didn't do it yet, that you have your me time your focus time, your sports time, your meditating time in a in a time container. You decide when it is. My recommendation, try 444 in the in the morning and please tell me what you think afterwards, what the result is. So this is my my inspiration. I'm really, really curious if you are hooked now to try this out or if you have any questions, any concerns, any like, yeah, you are crazy and why should I do that? Questions, please put them into the comments. Come into my um, free Joy Members Club to discuss this topic and join the Joy Challenge for free. I will put the link into the show notes too. And if you are interested in an overall, not makeover, but like watching carefully and being aware of all the different areas in your life, like, like spirituality or fitness or clarity, um, that's all 
all these topics are already now included in the in the morning magic but like the whole wheel of life in the joy academy we take care of all these topics and you can do all in your timing in your pace in your speed and you can you can change your life because you have everything in your hands you you are perfect the way you are and yet you can change and and add on your skills and your mindset every day and just just thrive on this joy mindset you build yourself on your terms and um, build a life you are just thrilled to li to live and not feel maybe you feel now like ah oh, it's hard or I can't do anything you can do so much and the first start is maybe the morning ceremony the morning magic you create for yourself another tool every week I show you my joyometer this one is from I wrote it today uh, look back on my week on my last week my highlight was a photo shooting with Toki I will include the address of of him in the show notes too it's um it's instagram.com and then das tok d a s t o k he has um moody black and white pictures and my photographer friend and her husband and their huskies we were in the mountains last week i told you in the pre-recorded video about that it was absolutely spectacularly beautiful and we had such a good time and alec always wanted to have a photo shooting with um toki and then it worked out that we met um friday in his studio and if you go to his instagram you can see the cool husky picture maybe i put some in on my blog too that it will be um easy to find and to look at and I had so many cool things happening last week and I'll put that into the blog too that you can read it if you want but what I want more than that you read mine that you write your own joyometer and it doesn't have to be this template but thinking about the highlight of my week what are you grateful for what are you um, working on that to fulfill your dreams and who inspired me and why and this made me very happy all these questions are the focus on the good things maybe your week was hard and maybe devastating things happened but even then on this paper it's only the good news and it just uplifts you and gratitude is such a powerful feeling and and um it's like a a hygiene thing in your whole body it it uh, a, a full dose of gratitude is so cleaning cleansing and so so uplifting and of course you have to deal with all the things which are not great but focusing and being aware of everything what is great is just such a good medicine for having more energy and like a more positive outlook on whatever is going on your, in your life so Take the, take the free template and every week I send it to you in my newsletter on Sunday. But you any, week, any time of the week, you can make your choyometer, choyometer day on Monday, on Tuesday, on Friday, whichever day you like. And it doesn't have to be every week, like religiously on this day too. You can do whatever you want. That's the cool thing. And that's what I want to inspire the whole world to think what do I want how do I want to do it and then just do it so think of your morning magic and fill out the joyometer and we'll see us next week and if you have any questions or if you want to join the joy academy and you have any questions there please tell me I will answer you personally thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day and see you soon. Bye bye.